This video is sponsored by Picmonic. Ever since college, I've always been a big fan of memory. I've always been interested how some people uh, memorize several information in such a short span of time. Throughout my search about memory, I encountered several techniques to which I actually applied them to myself. Namely, the Mind Palace, also known as the method of loci for memorizing several sequential information, and mnemonic major system for memorizing numbers. Although creating mnemonics was sometimes fun for me, other times it would be such a drag and would take so much time. Until I stumbled upon an app which creates the mnemonics in picture form for you. Hi guys, to those who are new to this channel, I'm Gerard Priya, a second year medical student from Cebu Institute of Medicine. And today, we'll talk about Picmonic. To put things simply, which of the following would you prefer? This diagram? Or this story? A seagull, for a seagull koe, comes flying in over and lands on an ox, for oxaloacetate, which is basically the muscle of this lemonade operation. The seagull orders the ox to kick a tree full of these citric lemons for citric acid, and they fall into a bed of ice, becoming iced citric lemons for isocitric acid. If you answered the diagram, then you are part of the population who enjoys understanding this kind of stuff. But that's not a problem actually. In fact, I am envious of you. But for those who chose the story, well then you've come to the right place. Picmonic, from the words picture plus mnemonics, is an app that turns concepts, facts, and pathways into playable picture mnemonics. It's a research-proven learning method that effectively allows you to retain information for long periods of time. It's an audiovisual learning system with unforgettable characters, stories, and facts to help you remember almost everything you need to know for school. Now let's preview the Picmonic PCA cycle, the one I showed earlier here. As you can see, this is the Picmonic PCA cycle diagram. You have two modes at the bottom, you have the educational and story mode. You can view the mnemonics on the left side here. Now let's play the first one which is the educational mode. The citric acid cycle, which is commonly referred to as the Krebs cycle, is an important biochemical reaction used by aerobic organisms to generate energy through the oxidation of acetyl coenzyme A. You can remember the citric acid cycle by the citric lemon cycle symbol in the middle of this pigmonic. We'll go over the cycle step by step and introduce you to what each character represents. However, you should check out the story of this citric acid factory in the story audio track to help you remember everything for good. What starts the cycle is acetyl-CoA, represented by A seagull at the top of this picture. A seagull sounds just like acetyl, so you should remember that association pretty well. Acetyl-CoA is two carbon molecules that come from the breakdown of carbohydrate. Now the educational mode explains the facts and concepts and relates it to the mnemonics. Since we've previewed the educational mode, let's go to the story mode. The citric acid cycle can be thought of like a lemonade company, and the cycle is this process they go through in order to make lemonade from citric lemons. You can also picture a little hermit crab living in his giant citric lemon because this process is also known as the Krebs cycle. So to get things started, a seagull, for acetyl coa comes flying in over and lands on an ox, for oxaloacetate, which is basically the muscle of this lemonade operation. The seagull orders the ox to kick a tree full of these citric lemons for citric acid, and they fall into a bed of ice, becoming iced citric lemons for isocitric acid. This mixture begins pouring down a tube where juice is squeezed from the lemons, producing delicious lemonade, with the emphasis on nade for the NADH produced at this point. But that's The story mode uh, tells a story that will help you recall the facts. And then, after we've done that, you actually have a quiz mode, which usually happens after you've done playing a... Well, pick money. And the citric lemon cycle starts all over. So the quiz mode uh, will help us solidify the concept and materials through the help of active recall. So we have questions one of the molecules in citric acid. Add citric acid. Pickmonic also gives daily quizzes for you to review on. The, the quizzes are based on the picmonics that you've quizzed on. So, example here, you can choose the amount of questions that you want for your daily quiz. There's even a point system which will reflect on a leaderboard. Picmonic also arranges the subjects based on different topics through the playlist. For example, here we have a playlist of all the biochemical pathways in picmonic, which has been very helpful for me when I was in first year medicine. For second year, 
One of the players that I used was for pharmacology like this one. I also used Pygmonic back then when I was studying endocrinology in my pre-medical days. There's also a search bar where you can search for facts uh, that might have Pygmonics already. Pygmonic also has an Anki add-on which is separate from the app itself. You can download the add-on with the link below. It allows you to view Pygmonics of certain words while you review the cards. You can even play Pygmonic videos through this add-on. The greatest part of this add-on is that it's free. If you want to know more about Anki and add-ons, then click on the link here or here for a three-part video series that talks about everything you need to know about Anki. You can try the app out for free in the App Store or even using a browser to explore its features. If you don't want to be restricted with the one Pygmonic view per day, then you can get a 20% off Pygmonic subscription discount using the link below. If you want more content like this, well, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.